NCTV News. And we're here at Highway 6 and FM 1092 at the site of the new Lowe's store, which is taking the place of the former Methodist Hospital. Many of you may be curious about when the new Lowe's will be ready to open. Missouri City Economic Development Coordinator Bob Graff has the timeline. The new Lowe's store that's going to be in Missouri City uh, is getting to the point of construction. You know, first of all, they had to knock down all the old Memorial Hospital site that was there, and so they have a permit to do that. As soon as that is finished, they're going to begin construction, and that should be within the next 30 days. According to Graff, the Lowe's store will be a welcome addition to this area and in close proximity to major shopping complexes along Highway 6. The new Lowe's will be great for the economy of Missouri City because it will bring a new business to that location, but it also will bring new sales tax dollars to the city, and that's what certainly we're always looking for. Beside the new business, though, we'll be looking at six new pad sites along 1092 and Highway 6, and that will give us the opportunity to have six additional new businesses come to that location. Your input is needed on the Quail Valley Parks Project. The city is hosting three meetings for community input on the proposed 400 acres of green space. First two meetings on January 6th at 7 p.m. and January 27th at 7 p.m. will be held in the community center. The final meeting will be held February 2nd at 7 p.m. in City Council Chambers. And the City Council has approved a new annual schedule of fees for the Quail Valley Golf Course. Now, players can sign up to play unlimited golf for 12 months. For a complete listing of the new fee schedule, check the city's website at www.missouricitytx.gov. As many of you know, Hurricane Ike damaged fences throughout the city. And now the city's code enforcement division is checking all neighborhoods and will alert property owners if they're in violation due to downed fences or debris. Mike Fogarty, coordinator with the city's code enforcement division, explains the process. When the inspector is going through the field and he sees a residence that has a code violation, they will make a note of it in their car, uh, usually on a tape recorder, and they'll come back into the office and uh, through our uh, computer program that we have here at the city, they can generate a letter that they send out and it's titled a first notice letter. Now once the uh, first notice letter is sent out, that letter will contain a period of time depending on the severity and the, the amount of work it would take to, to correct the violation. Uh, at the end of that time period, then the uh, inspectors can generate a report when they're due that says, okay, these houses are due for a reinspection. They'll take their list and they'll go back out to those houses and they'll see if that has been corrected. If it's been corrected, then they just close the case out in the computer system. While fence contractors often include debris removal as part of their services, it is the responsibility of the property owner to remove and dispose of the debris if their contractor does not remove it. Code enforcement has created red tags with information on fence repair and debris removal and will leave those tags at homes with fence damage. For more information, call 281-403-8600 and ask for Code Enforcement Division. And you may have noticed the city recently installed some new population signs with the new Missouri City logo and acknowledging our own Miss USA 2008. These new signs are at the following locations. Murphy Road at Calgary, Texas Parkway at Turtle Creek, Texas Parkway at City Hall Drive, U.S. 90A at Present Street, Highway 6 at Westenfelt Road, U.S. 90A near Beltway 8 Interchange, and Highway 6 at Dulles Avenue. So be sure and take a look. And if your New Year's resolution was to get into shape, Missouri City's Fitness Center may be able to help you reach your goals. And it's usually easier to accomplish your goals if the Fitness Center is close to your home and offers a friendly environment. At a cost of just $30 a year for Missouri City residents, the city's fitness center has a full range of workout equipment, including a fully equipped weight room, stair climber, elliptical machines, treadmills, and even a basketball court. It's conveniently located in the community center at 1522 Texas Parkway. In addition to the fitness center, dozens of exercise classes are offered at the community center year round. They range from exotic aerobics for women to step aerobics for seniors, so there's something for everyone. For more information or to schedule a tour of the facilities, call 
403-8637 or check the city's website at MissouriCityTX.gov under Parks and Recreation. And you want to mark your calendars, it's time to grab your fishing rods and reels for the first annual Missouri City Trout Fest. This new event will be held at American Legion Park, 4015 Lexington Boulevard on Saturday, January 17th from 9 to 11 a.m. Bait will be provided while it lasts. For more information, call 281-403-8537. And tickets go on sale this first week of January for a special event just for Missouri City dads and their daughters. The 13th annual Dad and Daughter Dance will be held on Friday, February 13th at 7 p.m. It will also be held at the Community Center next to City Hall, and tickets are on sale January 5th. And the Winter Wonderland Dance for Seniors will be held on January 13th from 1 to 4 p.m. also at the Community Center. You can also check the city's website for more information. And now we'll leave you with a look at Missouri City businesses from a bird's eye view.